Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So today I thought we'd check out the Unreal Engine 5 Matrix Awakens uh, City Sample Vehicles. And these are all basically the vehicles that come included with the Matrix Awakens demo that you can download completely free from the Unreal Engine Marketplace. Now all of these vehicles are actually drivable and most of them feature a complete destructible mesh. So things like the metal deforming and the glass breaking. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right into the project. Okay, so here we are inside the actual uh, Unreal Engine project. And this is the vehicle test map that's in the uh, city sample demo. Uh, like I said, you can download the separate city sample vehicles pack that has all these vehicles that you see here. I don't think it will have the character, but you'll still be able to drive all the vehicles. But anyways, as you can see, there are a bunch of different vehicle types. And we'll first start with this minivan here. So you can run up to the driver's side of the door and press C to enter in. And you can see we can drive around. There's these physics cones that you can run into. And then of course the actual destruction. So we can run into uh, some of the props here in the scene. Now how this is all set up in like the back end is it's actually using a bunch of different bones for all the different parts like this back door and the hood of the car. And then they use control rig to move the bones and manipulate the bones to make it look like there's actual soft body damage to the vehicle. So, you know, traditionally you'd have a soft body physics setup where the actual mesh can dynamically deform based on, you know, the different objects that you're running into. Uh, but this approach is much more different. We're using skeletal mesh bones to make the actual mesh look like it's deforming. Okay, so you can see we actually drift this car. And the controls are really fun, so... And it looks like it does, or at least the car does leave some sort of skid marks there. Probably can't see it too well on this grid texture. Okay, so we can get out and show you some of the other vehicles. Now these bigger vehicles um, don't have don't have the interaction uh, system, so you can't really enter in by pressing C. But they still are drivable, and I'll show you how to actually drive them here in a second. But just showing off all the different vehicles because they are all unique in their own ways in which they have sort of different sounds. The controls and handling of the vehicle are actually vary depending on which vehicle you're driving. I can run into some of the other cars and you can see some of the different parts that fall off as well as you know the glass shattering when you drive into other vehicles. And one neat detail is you can see the mirror dangling so uh, they must just use a single bone to kind of simulate physics on that one but yeah overall I'm pretty impressed with um, how they set up the whole destruction system now one thing I wish they had added is some sort of damage system for like the tires so that they can deform and be flat if they run over maybe like a nail tire strip or something like that but it would have been cool if they added that into this demo but yeah you can see we can drive around this uh, cop vehicle and I'm pretty surprised that there are just a lot of different vehicle variations all the colors here for the vehicles you can actually customize as well the vehicle over here you can see also has this damaged glass texture and honestly it looks pretty good for a completely destructible mesh all right, so it looks like you can damage the engine and I guess total the car in a way. There's no way to start driving it. So you can see this vehicle is pretty much totaled, so you can't drive it at all. I don't think I can actually get back into the vehicle, but now some of you might also be wondering, you know, how high detailed are these models, or at least what's the geometry looking like. And if I actually go into wireframe mode, you can see it's fairly well optimized. So they all have LODs on them and they're all essentially game ready. Okay, so I'll show off this last pickup truck before I show you guys how to drive some of the bigger vehicles here. But like I said, all of the uh, 
controls or at least the mechanics and controlling of the vehicles it definitely feels different and you can really notice the difference when you're driving the different vehicles so for example this truck moves I don't know you can't really turn as sharp as you can with some of the other smaller vehicles much like you normally would when uh, driving a truck now to play some of these larger vehicles all you have to do is select the vehicle that you want to drive scroll down in the details panel here till you see auto possess player you can just change this from disabled to player zero and if you hit play you will auto possess uh, the vehicle that you've selected and then you can drive it around now these larger vehicles don't have any sort of uh, destruction on them kind of makes sense since they are much more I guess sturdier now they don't have that little interaction of volume that allows you to enter and exit the vehicle which probably doesn't take too much time to uh, program in but yeah you can see we're driving here the bus so pretty neat that all the vehicles here are completely drivable and maybe we'll try and take it up this slope here yeah, and you can see we're pretty much stuck okay we can play as the garbage truck here and one fun thing to do is just ram into these other cars so then just actually destroy them at least fairly easily so we can now these cars don't have like any special control to activate you know the lights or honk the horn or whatnot at least I haven't found any controls that do so maybe for this garbage truck you could do something like rig up the trash collecting arm and the door in the back but yeah otherwise a pretty cool vehicle there last but not least we have this semi truck and I haven't figured out how to attach the trailer yet but this one is pretty fun to drive around it seems like you wouldn't be able to uh, drive this fast or at least drift like this but I'm not entirely sure because I've never driven a truck like this so I do recommend downloading this because it is pretty fun to just run around and test out you know the the destruction system for the vehicles um, now all the vehicles uh, you can actually customize the color so if you select a vehicle and go over to the details panel you scroll down you can choose down here this vehicle color or you can click from these uh, presetted buttons here to change the vehicle to whatever color you want you could probably dig further into the blueprint or go into the actual skeletal mesh if you wanted to change this to a custom color that you wanted but yeah like I said you're free to customize the color change it to your liking now one thing I wanted to show off real quick is the way they have the destruction set up now all the destruction for the vehicles looks like it's soft body physics however uh, the way that epic has set up car destruction here is they're actually using individual bones to drive the destruction of the vehicle so I can take one of these control rig points and move it back and you can see the hood get damaged in different areas we can also take the side of the vehicle here and push it in so you can see what it looks like damage also the top and crush it down and maybe the trunk push it in like so and this is all driven using control rig basically calculate when you hit an object to move this control rig point back to drive the mesh bones to make it look like it's actually destroyed and if you open up the skeletal mesh I can show you all the bones so if we go to character bones all hierarchy you can see all of the deformation bones that this vehicle uses to make vehicle look like it's actually being destroyed when in reality it's just a bunch of bones moving to different positions and moving to different orientations so anyways I thought that was just a really neat way an interesting way on how epic uh, set up the vehicle destruction system 
within the Matrix Awakens demo. And like I said, you can hop over to the Unreal Engine Marketplace and download all of the vehicles in this entirely separate pack. So that way you don't have to download the full city sample, which is over 80 gigs. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.